welcome back to my channel, So Very Domestic. I'm May, and today I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft mods. I'm just going to show you what you need to do to install Minecraft mods. First, you have to download and install the Java runtime environment because you need that to run the mods themselves. And then two, you need to download and install the Minecraft Forge, which is basically how you install the mod. So you need the Forge to do that. And then three, you have to download the mod and any supporting mods. Four, run Minecraft again with the new Forge option. And then move the mods into the, mod the Minecraft mods folder. And then open Minecraft and play with all your new creatures. I swear it is a lot easier than it probably sounds. So first up is Java. I'll put the full link in the description, but this is where you want to be to download the Java runtime environment. You want to click that radio button and then choose which goes with your operating system. So for most of you, it should be this one. This is, goes with Windows 10. And then I just click to download and then wait for it to finish downloading. Once it has finished downloading, I just click it to open it. And then I just start following the prompts. This can take a minute, it just depends on your computer. So I'm going to let this go until the end of like this first screen and then just kind of show you what the next screen looks like to give you an idea of what to expect. And how long it takes to install really just depends on your computer. So once this one is done, it jumps into this one and this one can take a little while. So I'm just gonna kind of leap until it's done. So that's Java installed. Next up is Minecraft Forge. This is a website, I'll link it in the description. We want this installer over here. So I just clicked on that. Do not touch anything on this website. It's full of pop-ups. It's not great. So you just wanna focus on this side of the screen. Click on that button once it appears. It's going to start downloading, bottom left, ask you, do you trust this? Do you want to keep it? It could harm your computer. Yes, you want to keep it. It's just a precaution because it's an unknown publisher. So that's why they ask you that. Now we're going to, there it is right there. It appears in your downloads. Before you install it, you have to open Minecraft. And the reason you have to open Minecraft is Forge will check the last version of Minecraft that you opened and you want it to be the same one as the one that your mod pack needs to be. So I have already attempted this video once before, but I'm gonna just make a new example here to show you so that you'll know what to do. Go ahead and click um, the add, and then I'll just make this new one for this video attempt. Hopefully this works out. And then you're just going with the version that you want. In our case, it's 1.12.2. And then look forward in the dropdown, and then play. We'll let it do its thing. All we really want it to do is open, and then as soon as it opens, we can immediately close it. Okay, open and close. That's all we need to do. Okay, now that we've done that, we can install um, the Forge. You can right click on it, open, double click it, or right click it. It might ask you if you wanna open it in Java, then just click okay when you see that window. And it just takes a second. This installs pretty quickly. And then that's done. Okay, now you want to go to the Minecraft forum to download the mod itself and whatever else is needed for the mod. We see the forge there. Usually there's like the mod and then one or two other things that you need in addition to the forge. So we just have these two files. Now the websites that these files are hosted on are really super sketchy. So I'm gonna show them to you so you can see where I got them. But then I'm gonna link the final, um, like I'll put the final link that you want in the description. Do not touch anything on this website. Again, we're waiting for the countdown to appear top right, top left, you can click deny. That's not gonna hurt anything. Um, but otherwise, do not click anything else on this website. Wait until the skip ad button appears, click it. 
Okay, and then this is the screen you're looking for. It's going to forward you to the actual website that we're looking for, which of course is Mediafire. Okay, so this is the actual link. Like this is the website that you're looking for. You might have like pop unders that happen here behind this window. Um, but this is what you're looking for. And the big green button is uh, what you want. There's a pop up. Again, just lots of garbage, so you can just close it if it happens to you. Um, but anyway, when you click that green download button, it's going to download bottom left. It's also going to ask you again, do you want to keep this file or not? Because it could be dangerous. Technically, yes, it could be dangerous. But when you're getting it from the Minecraft forums, I feel like there's enough people kind of checking, including myself. Like, you know, nothing's ever happened with us with these files. Um, sorry, I just went ahead and went to the next one and then you can kind of close everything on your way back. And again, do not touch anything on Adfly or really any of these websites. And I will link, um, what you actually need. This is just so you can kind of see where they came from. Um, and if you want to do it exactly like this, then you can kind of see how to do it. See, I was just waiting for that skip add button. There we go. And it won't automatically start downloading in the bottom left, like the first one. This is just like that last one where we have to wait to be redirected to uh, the Mediafire site. And then here we are again, Mediafire. Um, and again, you're gonna wanna click that big green button, which will um, download the file that we want. And again, it's gonna ask if you wanna keep the file because it could be dangerous, kind of at your own risk. Like I said, I didn't have any issues with it and you probably won't when you find things on forums because usually people are kind of looking out, but those are the two files that you need. Um, easiest to place on the desktop. So actually let's just go to the desktop, open that downloads folder again, and then you can just sort of select them and drag them out to your desktop. And then you can just go ahead and close that. And now depending on um, like how your computer is set up, you can just even go into this search and type run, or you can hold the Windows key and tap the R key, but it's gonna open this little window. And you're just gonna wanna type it in exactly like that, percent app data percent, that's percent A-P-P D-A-T-A -A percent. And then click okay and open this Explorer window where you see Minecraft up there at the top. So you wanna go into that folder and then if you have a mods folder, you're golden. If you don't, you need to create one, no big deal. You can click new folder or you can right click and do new folder. I already have one, so I'm not gonna do that. Double click on that and then there they are because I've already done it. Otherwise you would just highlight these and drag them in. I don't have to do that because they're already there. But yeah, so then from here, literally all you do is close this and then open Minecraft again. And then Minecraft takes its sweet time as it does sometimes. So I already have it selected, but you would just go up to whatever thing you created and then click the button and let it open. I've already done this a few times. So then this is gonna happen again. This forge will happen every time you open Minecraft, um, but that's fine because you want that to happen. I've already made a world in here, so I'll just kind of show you a little bit of that. So this didn't record lovely, but my elephant is in the back and you can see if you're in creative, you can look at all the different spawn eggs. There's elephants and jaguars and foxes and all kinds of things. And I think probably the funniest is this turkey. I get such a kick out of it. It's so funny to me. But anyway, that's how you install Minecraft mods. So this example was Mo Creatures, but it would work with any Minecraft mod. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to show some support and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thanks. Bye.